So how do you find X intercepts and find Y intercepts? It's very, very important. It's the same for every single graph. So the way to think about it is you have to think about it like this, because as always, you don't want to memorize things. You want to understand things. So let's plot like an X intercept. This is the X intercept or a X intercept. And here's my question. What is the Y value of that X intercept? It's zero. And the Y value of any X intercept is always zero, right? So to find an X intercept, how you find an X intercept is you make the Y value equal to zero and you see what X would equal. And how do you find a Y intercept? The opposite. You make the X value equal to zero and see what Y would equal. And that's critical. That happens in any type of equation. That's not just like a linear equation, not just a parabola. That happens with anything. So to get an X intercept, you set the Y value equal to zero. To get the Y intercept, you set the X value equal to zero. That's every type of function you have, no matter what. Throughout like all four years of your high school, you should be doing that. So let's do that to graph this. So let's erase these theoretical intercepts that I drew and let's find the real intercepts. So first let's find the Y intercept first because it's easier. So like we just said, we're going to make the X value equal to zero. So zero squared minus four. And of course, when you're doing this on your own, you should be doing the minimal amount of written work as possible. That's always been my opinion about showing your work in math. You should be showing the minimal amount of work that you need to show to get it right. And other than that, you're showing too much work. So I'm going to show a lot when I'm here just to make sure that it's easier for people to understand. But when you're doing it on your own, just know that like I would not do that step when I was on my own. That's just like for some of y'all's benefit. But anyway, let's find the x-intercepts now. So for the x-intercept, we're going to set the y equal to 0. And then we're going to solve for x. So how do you solve this for x? We've got a couple ways. My preferred way, to be honest, is to factor it. Because that's another critical thing that I'm sure has come up. But it's got to come up again because it comes up all the time. Difference of two squares. If you got x squared minus 4 x plus 2, x minus 2. That's got to be muscle muscle memory, just like Soup Stewart said. And then you can just solve for x. You got negative 2 and 2. And so those are going to be the x values of the x-intercepts. And from there, especially since you have an idea of what the x-squared graph looks like, we should have an idea of what this parabola is going to look like. Because we can see just with those three points, we can see quite the pattern there. And I'd say that's what they want us to do. They wanted us to plot some points, which we did. Find the X and Y intercepts and plot the points. That's what we did. So I think that's a beautiful graph. And while we're here, Soup Steward asking about my Discord. I do have a Discord. It is mathlab.online slash Discord. And mathlab.online slash anything will bring you where you want to go mathlab.online slash youtube you're already there mathlab.online slash twitch some people are already there mathlab.online slash tiktok it's everywhere you can find me anywhere mathlab.online slash anything or just mathlab jordan that is me everywhere peace out everybody